morning guys, it's Sunday morning. So we've come out this afternoon to do a bit of a recce walk um, through Halifax um, for the big walk we're doing in the summer. We've got to walk through the town to get out the other side. So we're just um, checking out some of the trickier to navigate sections of the walk. So it's cold and grey. There's a lot of traffic out. People all over. I'm doing a bit of outdoor vlogging, which I wouldn't normally do somewhere this busy. Um, and yeah, that's all really. Really tired after the night at work last night. But we're not doing a massively long stretch, we're just checking out one of the bits that's really tricky to navigate. Because um, we've got to walk through Halifax Town Centre. Um, we want to make sure we do it safely because there will be quite a few of us. Um, and it's all good. Body magic, isn't it? Right, catch you later. We're going down some deep, dark alleys. We won't be going this way on the walk. We've just had to come a slightly different way because of where we've parked. Okay. We're just walking through the town centre. You can look at my feet for a bit if you want. Walking, walking, walking. Church balls are going in the background, it's Sunday afternoon, it's quite lovely actually. And we're now at my favourite place to eat in the town centre. Subway! So we're going this way. I don't know if you can hear the church bells, but they're really lovely. There's just lots of feet walking along, really. I haven't got lots of anything interesting to say. We're just checking out the route, sort of thinking about where we'll all cross the road. I think there's going to be about 20 of us, so we need to think these things through so that we're all safe and stay together. So we're just walking over this old bridge, right in the middle of Halifax. It's very hilly around here, so the roads needed to traverse the valleys at car park down there is the site of my favourite car boot sale which will have been on this morning but it's too late now for it boo hoo I love a car boot sale it's a lovely old bridge this really high now, I've just climbed a big hill, my legs are really aching now <laughs> and we've got a big aerial view of Halifax town centre. We're up on an overpass and I don't suppose you'll be able to hear but I can really hear the Halifax Minster bells ringing and there's the bus station in the middle and a lot of post office vans, I think. And just behind that 
is the church spire, well the Minster spire where the bells are ringing. Huge Sainsbury's. Cinema and restaurants. It's pretty standard city centre. And we're just going to cross over this road that way. So we're just climbing up now, a bit more of a hill, but we're getting out of the town centre and just going to find the rural road, which will take us out of Halifax and into the countryside and on to Leeds. And I have to say, I'll be glad to leave all the traffic behind. It's very noisy. I'm busy. But all the hills have definitely got my heart pumping. Right, we're even higher up now and we've just left Halifax Town Centre and we're heading up on this road now which leads us into Shibden Hall Park um, which is where the very famous Anne Lister, who was an unusual, wealthy, female landowner. Um, just one second, I'll check what century that was. Right, she lived from 1791 to 1840, and she was a mountaineer, um, adventurer, I think she was an author, and it was very unusual for women at that time to be landowners. Um, she's kept diaries, which I think might have been made into either a TV series or a film in the last few years. She's a very famous, hard-working, well-off lesbian landowner. There's the bridge we've just been on. We've just come down those steps there. That's the highest point we're walking to today. We're now going to head back down this way into the town centre and we're going to stop at Sainsbury's and get some washing powder. That's how thrilling my life gets. <laughs> I will catch you later. I'll tell you what guys, going down the hill is much nicer than going up. So much easier. Oh, it's lovely. So I'm definitely going to get my 10,000 steps in today and we've got a tricky bit of the route reconnoitred, worked out find a couple of um, flights of steps that we can take instead of um, hills. I don't know which is preferable actually. I'd probably rather walk the hill actually than going up steps. But uh, yeah, it's been good. We're nearly at that big Sainsbury's I showed you earlier. Um, and we're going to go in and get some washing powder and a couple of other bits and bobs, see if we can get any yellow sticker bargains. And then we've got about another mile, mile and a half to walk back to the car. So it's much later. Um, when we were in Sainsbury's, I grabbed um, a packet of ham because I suddenly had a bit of an energy crash. Uh, and I realised I hadn't had lunch before we went out. I'd had quite a late breakfast. And it just wasn't enough to sustain me for the walking that we did. So I grabbed some ham out and I just scoffed it. I'm afraid I didn't film it. Um, and we're home now. It's half past five. And I was very happy that I'd put a gammon joint in the slow cooker with some carrots and onions before we went out. So we've come home and I've just um, oven roasted two tins of new potatoes. Just the cheap, smart price new potatoes, bit of fry light on, roasted in, in the oven and then I've done some baked beans with that and we've got some gammon and um, the gammon, the potatoes and the beans are all free and then I've got a pile of um, slow cooked carrots and onions and they are speed and I just wanted to say while I was in Sainsbury's because the Sainsbury's isn't very close to us I picked up some of this unsweetened almond milk um, which is in the UHT section um, in Sainsbury's and I got it to try because um, 
I've tried almond milk before and I'm not very keen, but Rebecca Shaw and Jane Day have both recommended this one as being a better almond milk. And I've just tried it in a coffee and it was a lot more palatable. Um, it is creamy and I, I like it and I think I wouldn't drink it all the time, but I think I might just try and have some in for days when I want a lot of milk if I want cereal and coffee and cheese um, and then I can have half a healthy extra of this still have some cheese and because you get 750 mils of this as a healthy extra I still have plenty of milk um, for all the other things I want to use it for so yes I prefer it it is better so I just wanted to mention that and um, I'm now going to go and eat my tea before it gets cold. So I've just filled this um, dish up with a mixture of frozen fruits just to let them defrost over the next hour or so. Um, there's mango and cherries which are free and underneath blueberries, underneath them are blueberries and raspberries which are speed. So when they're defrosted a bit later I'm going to probably have them with either four and a half sins of full fat Greek yogurt or four sins of Halo Top um, or maybe a mixture of the two, a couple of sins of each, not sure yet but I'll have something along those lines on there and if I have say four and a half sins worth of something with this fruit later um, I'll be ending the day on eight, eight and a half sins. Um, I've had a Linda McCartney sausage and a corn sausage patty for half a sin each. And then the ham that I ate in Sainsbury's still had a little bit of fat on it. Um, because we were walking when I ate it and it was only a little bit of fat, I left it on. Um, so I've had a look on the app. And I think three sins is a reasonable amount to allow for the fat that was on there, which wasn't very much. It was too, but it was too fiddly to pick it off while I was walking, <laughs> and I was so hungry. So I've allowed three sins for that, which means I'm on four sins so far. So another four and a half for some Greek yogurt would make it eight and a half sins for the day, which is grand. Um, and everything else has been free or speed or my healthy extras. So I'm going to leave that there. This is my Sunday. Um, I'm feeling good. I um, enjoyed the walk this afternoon. I didn't move at all this morning out of the bed or the chair. <laughs> so um, I've done about 11,000 steps about five miles which I'm very happy with for today given that I didn't move all morning and I'm planning on having a pottery kind of evening perhaps watch a bit of TV gonna get these videos uploaded um, no school tomorrow for the kids I am working during the day so um, I'll still be up and off um, and yeah, planning a nice half term, I hope. We'll see how we get on. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this has been interesting or useful or a mixture of the both. It's lovely to have you here. I really appreciate all of you for watching and for commenting. And um, yeah, it does mean a lot to me to have you all there. If I really feel the support I get from you all. Um, it's a really big help so thank you for that I'll sign off now and I'll catch you all again later in the week I hope bye for now